welcome back to the Technobi channel. Even though the shape of an underwater internet cable is very large, its actual size is as small as a human hair. Underwater cables are covered with various layers to protect against external damage such as earthquakes, sea pressure, and so on. The following is a brief process of making underwater internet cables, the internet has come a long way since it was first introduced, at first the internet was only accessible to a handful of people who had the knowledge and tools to go online, whereas today the internet is available to billions of people around the world. Thanks to the development of undersea cables that made it possible to connect entire continents. About 97% of data communication between countries. Through the communication system. Sea cables until 2020 already. Installed more than 235 cable systems. Underwater in the world by length. The total is about 997,000 kilometers. This marine cable installation uses. Ships usually cables laid on the bottom. Sea but in an area with activity. High seas then the cable will be. Placed in the trench using a special tool. Internet cables are now made of. Optical fiber is a type of cable that. Made of very fine glass. Unlike copper cables fiber cables. Optically transmit data in a form. Light whose speed is up to 10 GB per second. While copper cables transmit data. In the form of an average electrical signal. Copper based internet connection. Provides speeds of up to 300 MP. To make fiber optic cable manufacturers. Will prepare the material, namely solid. Glass or called free form which made of glass cups free form is created by a process chemical called modifier chemical vapor deposition abbreviated as mcb the glass end of the cup is mounted on the led machine or a special lathe in this process two chop glasses will be installed on the led machine later the two cup glasses will be rotated by a lathe then heated with a torch that comes from hydrogen and oxygen. By heating both ends. Cup glass turns white which. Indicating that this temperature has been reached. 2000 degrees Celsius then the two cups will become one. In this MCVD process chemicals too. Will be included and with which temperature. Very hot the chemical will. Form a layer inside. The layer is a waveguide profile which is also known as profile. These indexes and layers are very necessary for laser-based communication systems. Then the layer will melt to be the glass which is the essence of fiber optic cable while cup glass. The rest will wrap the optical fiber after becoming perform free form. Then it will be cut using a torch until it separates into two parts then preform that has been cut then converted to optical fiber the process is called fiber drop preform inserted into the chart the furnace is then heated to a temperature of 2000 degrees celsius to soften the tip Primum then the force of gravity makes end of the freeform glass will drop to the bottom the first strand of glass to fall going to cut then the rest of the cut strands included in a network serves to control the diameter optical fiber to remain stable at a diameter of 125 micrometers glass strands are allowed to go down through a cooling chamber filled with water and helium gas fibers coming out of the cooling chamber then it will have room temperature. Then the optical fiber will go to a drum to roll but before optical fiber will be tested to ensure the quality. Here and after this fiber optic yarn given a petroleum coating jelly is then put in standing machine for the building process. 
several fiber optic threads are twisted. B1 strand. This optical fiber is also given another layer, such as polycarbonate cup suitcases and others to become fiber cables. Optics that are ready to be installed under the sea. Fiber optic cable installed below. The sea has a thickness of between 7 and 10 centimeters. Although such cables have large diameter but the core of the fiber optic cable is very small section. The thick ones are the layers of the wrapper. Fiber is covered with steel rope, which serves to protect the core from external damage such as earthquakes, sea water pressure and so on. In addition to this fiber optic cable as well, protected with copper. Copper also serves as power supply used for power repeaters shaped like torpedoes. Fiber optic cable has speed, very high transmission with using a refractive light source. The light used is usually a laser or LED because underwater cables are long up to thousands of kilometers then deep optical signal travel normally will light soaking occurs throughout optical cable therefore if the distance the transmission is far usually every 80 kilometers a working rebreather will be installed to amplify light waves and the repeater is powered through the copper layer present in the optical cable Although this underwater optical cable has many layers of protection, there are times when this optical cable requires repair. When there is damage the officers will receive notification from fiber cable. Such faulty optics after that. A ship will use dynamic positioning system to make it easier. Trace the location of the damaged cable. After found a tool called cutting. Grable lowered to the seabed for lifting and cutting damaged cables. After being cut in half later, holding grab zero will be lowered for take the first piece of cable, then a second piece of cable. Later it will also be picked up and placed on board for the connection process. On board the officers use. Fusion splash is a method that used to connect cables fiber to each other by leveraging tools that use heat when all fiber optic cables connected to the next fiber optic cable will be lowered again to the seabed